so looking back at 2020, man, what a year, uh, with so many pitfalls and, well, issues in the news, well, people not wanting to see the news, yeah, I'm mainly just going to look back at my postal 2020. It was reasonably a team year. I had finished my last college semester at home. It was pretty rough. Basically, I legitimately didn't learn anything. Sort of went through the motions and squirted past by and graduated with my uh, college degree. Um, I finished up an internship for a big company. And I did, but I, did, I didn't get hired full time. <clears throat> it was rough, even, you know, since I sort of uh, pulled through my uh, eggs in one basket. <clears throat> and uh, well, even went through the interview. And man, I do not want to recount the mistakes I made doing that. But I just want to let you know. I want I from from that point on I sort of improved myself for in- interviews. <clears throat> then after college in the summer, I went on unemployment. It's on J- July, but I got a sweet six hundred dollar uh, benefit, which was really nice. So was netting around about eight hundred bucks a week, give or take. Um, I was still looking for jobs, but mainly in my spare time, I finally got back into playing video games once in a while. And I gotta say, there's this one video game that I really love, which was Hades. And I will never forget what Hades had done for me. Like, as, well, a puss, like, it made me love video games again, as well as um, love its story, and as well as uh, roguelike dungeon crawler games. So it was pretty awesome. As well as um, I was I cleaned my basement to generally keep myself somewhat busy while applying for jobs during a waging pandemic. I uh, there were some days where I just sort of gave up on like applying every day because mainly lots of companies and some of my friends had hiring freezes or just like job offers were sended, which really did suck for them but they um well got back up to feet sometime uh mainly that so i just gave you the point was i just applied blindly until in august some staffing agency uh called me and said hey we have a job for you it's like oh yeah sure definitely and i now i work at a call center for basically a temporary time since I'm a contractor. And although unemployment felt like a hurdle, like mainly like what day, like what do I do today? Like it's basically a cool vacation, but it's a vacation that sort of doesn't have an end date. Like don't get me wrong. Like this call center job is pretty good. Like it's something, something to do with my time. Um, but mainly, um, with unemployment, it was pretty fun sort of going into like old hobbies that I sort of put off because of school and work to finally do something with it. Heck, and even without the pandemic, so looking for a full-time job as a recent graduate is still pretty much a big hurdle because, you know, like <clears throat> a company is really just looking for senior positions or someone with three years of experience for entry level so it is pretty disheartening but all in all 2020 was mainly pretty okay i mean it could have been way better like way way better um but well i mean here's some of the downsides of 2020 i lost connected connecting connection to most of my friends um, I'm currently in a job where I did, I'm just underemployed, like, you don't use my skills fully. And, well, um, I guess I'm just talking to the people of the internet about my 2020 year. But there were some good moments, like, me, me and my girlfriend pulled through when the lockdown hit in my state. And we weren't allowed to see each other for months. I mean, we talked, you know, on face. I mean, on Facebook Messenger through text calls but it just wasn't the same and well when some of the things went like 
some of the restrictions went down. I met up with some of my old friends, and they gave me some great advice when I was down and out. Like, you know, 2020 isn't the perfect year at all. I mean, there were definitely some people that their years hasn't changed at all. Like, they've been working from home for quite a while and was, I guess, pretty ecstatic when it was, like, basically permanent for the foreseeable future. But generally speaking, um, yeah, that was just my 2020 year. And here's something for, I guess, 2021. I'm kind of in sort of low hopes because, you know, time is just a concept. And, like, I don't know why people are seeing 2021 as, like, their saving grace that when it hits, like, January 1st, it will, like, everything wrong that happened in 2020 will magically go away like the coronavirus will like end um racism just stops and like the government will actually do its job but that's far from the point of 2021 or whatever but yeah all in all 2020 pretty okay year and here's hoping for well a better year especially for me because and well actually not not just me for other people that have been going through basically the same motions like me alrighty well nice talking to you everybody see ya